Hey up folks, so I'm just back from Decathlon. I only bought a couple of bits in there, but I did some um, filming as well while I was in there. So I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a look around what's in store. So I'll be showing you sleeping bags, uh, stoves, some of the clothing, rucksacks, and a few other bits. So get ready to check those out. If you don't know who Decathlon are, they're actually the biggest sports retailer in the world. They're a French company. They do sell um, branded stuff, but they also make their own equipment and clothing under their own brand names. So you'll see things like Four Claz, Quechua, Tribal, all kinds of different brand names. They've taken the IKEA approach to product naming, I think. But because they are so big, it means that they can produce their own products at a decent quality and still bring it to you at a decent price. So ignore all of those weird names and check out the products themselves. So let me just show you the couple of things that I picked up. Uh, the first thing is this really thin and lightweight cap. It's a four class one, and it's got a material strap on the back to adjust the size of it. I think this will fit anybody. I've got a massive head, and I'm nowhere near the end of that strap. You'll see on there as well, there's these two mesh sections to help airflow. The material itself is really light and thin anyway, and then you've got a, a curved peak so I bought this just to throw in my bag for days like it is now when it's really hot and sunny, just to protect my head, keep the sun out of my eyes. And if it comes to it, I can put it on backwards, look like a dude and keep the sun off my neck as well. And that was 5 99 for that. They've got loads of different colors and styles in stock. So worth looking there if you're after any kind of hat really. And the only other thing I bought, I did say I only bought a couple of things, was a small um, gas canister and that was 3 99 Now I wouldn't recommend buying these all the time, I buy the small canisters and I take them out when I'm camping, but I refill them with the larger canisters. The reason I bought this is that the one that I'm using now, I've had for probably three or four months and I've refilled it a few times. So I really wanted a new valve. And the Decathlon ones come with this plastic insert at the top as well, which helps to protect your titanium pot. I put my can in that way and it just stops metal scraping against metal on the bottom of your pot. So like I say, that was 3 99 You can get cans probably three, four, five times bigger than that for just a pound extra. So as I said, just buy one of those and keep refilling it. And then in terms of stuff in the store, I had a look at sleeping bags. So they got a mummy sleeping bag that's rated down to 15 degrees for 34 99 All of these are in their own compression bags, but they're not fully compressed in the shop. So the size you see it in the shop, you can compress it down a lot smaller than what you see it. Just keep that in mind. They've got another bag rated down to five degrees. It was 54.99. And one rated down to zero degrees for 64.99. And all the ones that they had available, they got hanging up um, out of their bags. So you could have a proper look at them, have a feel of them. And as I said before, check the quality and make sure that it's what you're looking for. They got one of their own brand inflatable pillows as well for $14.99. Um, but I think really you're better off looking at the Trekology ones on Amazon. I think they're a couple of pounds cheaper. I'm sure they're $12 or $13.99. And they pack down a lot smaller as well. They got sit mats for $3.99. And they were okay. You know, a sit mat's a sit mat. You can get them for like 99p on AliExpress. But then you've got to wait three months or weeks and weeks for it to arrive. So if you're in there and you just want to grab one, $3.99, not a bad price really. And they've got a few sleep mats and air mats. Um, the one that drew my eye to it was a yellow air structure one. I don't think it was insulated, um, but it was $39.99 and it packed down really small. So it might be good for someone who's looking for a lightweight, small packable mattress for the summer months. They did have some other ones as well, but they're all stacked on top of each other. So quite difficult to kind of rifle through them and see what was what. But if you are after a mat and you've got the time, you can go in there and, and have a proper look through. And then they've got some of their own brand stoves as well. So they've got one that looked a little bit like an MSR um, Pocket Rocket Deluxe. It was $29.99. Again, packed down quite small, seemed really well made and had a built-in igniter to it. And that was one of the ones that screws directly onto the top of a, a gas canister. They'd also got a similar one that was a remote stove. So you get the, the pipe that goes from the stove to your gas canister. Um, that can be useful in colder weather because you can invert your canister and that was an extra tenner, so 39 99 They did have a couple of jet boil stoves as well on the shelf. I couldn't see any prices on the shelf, um, but as we all know, they're going to be sort of top end. But if you are looking for a, a jet boil and you want somewhere where you can just go and grab one out of stock, it's probably worth looking at Decathlon. So I hope you're finding this useful. If you are, give the video a thumbs up. 
If you're not, give it a thumbs down. It's always good to know what you guys think of these and we'll carry on. If you're in the market for any kind of rucksack or backpack, whether it's a day bag or a full size kind of hiking bag, they've got loads on display that you can try on, all different sizes and prices. Again, they've got their own brand ones and some branded ones as well. So definitely worth a look either on their website or in your local Decathlon store. If anyone's got or used or still uses any of the Decathlon bags, drop us a comment below and let us know what they like. And then I had a quick look at their sort of walking shoes and boots. And again, they've got loads of their own brand stuff, but I'm not sure what it's like. It looks decent quality, but if you guys have used their stuff and used it for any amount of time, found it to be good or not so good, let us know below. They did have some uh, branded shoes in as well. They've got Solomon Ultra GTX 3s for 99.99 and I think that's the cheapest price I've seen those for. They've got some Merrill shoes as well for 59.99. Again, that, I think that's a really good price for those. But as with all shoes and boots, I'd recommend going into the store and trying them on before you buy. Similar with trousers, they've got a massive range, all their own brand, I haven't tried any of uh, Decathlon's clothes for myself yet. So they've got all kinds of thicknesses, weights, numbers of pockets, they've got zip off ones. Anything you could want really. And a load of shorts as well, which we all need at this time of year. On the coat side of things, Decathlon are quite famous and quite well known for their down coats. Um, they've got all different sort of thicknesses and temperature ratings. They start at $49.99 for the thinnest one. And they went up to sort of $89.99 for one rated down to minus 18. So whatever temperature rating you're looking for, it's definitely worth having a look in Decathlon at those sort of prices. And I have seen reviews on those and they do tend to perform really well, especially when you take the price into account. They've got fleeces in there as well, if you're looking for a sort of mid-layer for sort of $14.99, um, quarter zip ones, full zip ones, and some sleeveless fleeces as well. So check those out if that's something that you're looking for. And that's all I focused on when I was in there this time. So I'll have loads more of these shopping videos coming up. If you wanna see those, whack that subscribe button. I'll put a link here to my last shopping video at Go Outdoors, so go check that out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.